Welcome back to Crystal Clear the Roundtable. I'm Osric Fox. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and we got our first trailer of Steve Universe Diamond Days, the upcoming six week event that will round out Steve Universe Season 5 and this current era of Steve Universe as we know it. Now, this trailer, as I speculated on Wednesday talking about its existence, is pretty much just like the heart of the Crystal Gems extended trailer we got back in June. It's mostly recap with new footage sprinkled in. So, for this trailer, we're only going to break down the new scene in the order they appear in, not when they could take place chronologically. Although when possible, I will speculate what episodes they come from. And of course, spoiler warning, if you want to go into this completely blind, click off now. So the trailer begins explaining that Steven and the Crystal Gems are embarking on a homeworld. After some exposition, the diamonds are the gem matriarchs, Pink Diamond saw life and the good in her colony, became Rose Quartz, you know, things we've already heard before. The narrator explains that pearls on homeworld are treated like objects, to which we get a scene from what I assume is the very next episode, familiar. Still in Pink Diamond's palace and room from the last episode, we see that Pearl arrives, but she's only there to give Steven his things. And unfortunately, as a Pearl, she's considered one of Steven's things. She has his hot dog duffel bag in tow. Now, although we can't deduce much from what's inside the room, there appears to be some kind of stool and a table behind Steven. This wasn't present at the end of Lich from the Homeworld. Did it materialize? Did they just not draw it in? I wouldn't be surprised if this room functioned a lot like Rose's room back on Earth, where Steven can materialize anything that he desires. But this also makes me wonder, where are Garnet, Amethyst, and Connie? Are they still with the diamonds? Were they assigned somewhere else? Are they being held captive? We may get our answer later on in the trailer. After recapping Amethyst's personality, her love for shape-shifting and how Homer falls upon it, we get the return of Blue and Yellow Pearl. I guess they were left behind on Homeworld after all during the events of Reunited. Yellow Pearl ponders, what is fun? Which, all right, I get, it's a joke. Steve Universe is part comedy, part action, but is Homeworld really that foreign to the concept of fun? We know they have arenas, and we know they have jubilees, so they do have some form of dances, parties. And you would think the Diamond's Pearls would get in some of that luxury. I know I'm nitpicking, but dialogue like this just kind of bugs me. Either way, she's probably talking to either Amethyst or Steven. I can imagine one of them asking, so what do you guys do for fun around here? But if you look in the background, you can see Yellow Diamond's throne. So this could be from the episode Together Alone, which has a synopsis, Steven brings his family together to have a party. So perhaps Steven trying to mediate everything, attempting to talk to White Diamond, he exclaims to everyone that they're going to have fun, to which Yellow Pearl again says, what is fun? The narrator continues to give us the skinny on our main cast. And after stating that Homeworld will never understand the fusion that is Garnet, we have from what I assume is again the episode Together Alone, Blue Diamond stating, Garnet, does that call herself a Garnet? To which we have Garnet not happy at all, growling at Blue Diamond. Regardless of Blue Diamond's intentions, this is very patronizing. But this ties into something that Rebecca Sugar has stated before on the Steve Universe podcast that we're now finally seeing in canon. Single gems that share the name of fusions exist on Homeworld, so there are Homeworld Garnets. There are lightly Homeworld Sardarnixes and Alexandrites. Just like how the character Hesonite is a Garnet, and she shares similarities to Garnet like the Afro, but there's a fundamental difference. Garnet chose to be called Garnet, but by all technicalities, she's not truly a Garnet in Homeworld's eyes, which Blue Diamond finds adorable. That a common soldier and a diplomatic gem combined together would choose to adopt the name of a gem that, judging from Hessenite, would be an elite soldier. To Blue Diamond, she likely sees it as nothing more than two gems playing pretend. But hey, at least she's no longer trying to kill them. She's no longer repulsed. So we're making some kind of progress, even if Garnet isn't necessarily happy about it. All right, so the narrator continues to talk about what's going on currently in the storyline. How Steven finally has a chance to heal all the crypto gems, but it requires assistance from not just yellow and blue, but white diamond as well. To which we get something that I just find hilarious. Yellow Diamond and Steven in some sort of sauna, some sort of bath. Just seeing Yellow Diamond chilling, covered in what appears to be water drop sweat, although I don't believe Jim's can sweat, with Steven just standing there in yellow trunks. So judging by this entire environment, it appears to be Yellow Diamond's bath, Yellow Diamond's sauna. One, I believe the Diamonds had these baths constructed. The reason why they would need a sauna, need a bath, it's just to keep up their radiant appearance. It helps their gemstones shine. And just like human saunas, it's a way to relax. Open up your pores. Or in this case, get some dirt off the gem. But also, it looks like Yellow Diamond could be cautiously optimistic. The look on her face just screams, I don't know if you can pull it off, but you, you being Steven, seem to have a plan. Maybe the plan will work, and maybe it's a plan that could work after all. And honestly, I'm loving how much of the diamonds we're seeing. For budgetary reasons, 
I thought they would go ghost into the climax of this arc, as they have before. But no, budget be damned, the universe seems to be going all out. Trust me, the trailer doesn't show it, but we can expect a lot more characters to appear. We then cut to the throne room that has white, yellow, blue, and pink diamond thrones, in the order of their insignias. Although white diamonds is the only one that seems to levitate, or at the very least, is high up in air. It's the only throne lacking a staircase. That just continues to perpetuate that godly status white harbors. Just like in her mirror how she descends from above. She is a god to all of Gemkind, even to the other diamonds. And here we can also spot Steven wearing Pink Diamond's outfit. I just put out a video speculating why and how Steven is wearing that outfit. How did he obtain Pink Diamond's clothes? It doesn't appear it'll just be relegated to a dream sequence, if we get one at all, but whether or not it was his choice or forced upon him is yet to be seen. Now, it looks like everyone is actually waiting for White Diamond to show up, but where's everyone else? Garnet, Amethyst, and Connie? Well, I think we'll get our answer later on in the trailer. Now this next shot once again seems to be familiar, as Steven is not yet in his pink diamond outfit, and is animated by Sunman rather than Rough Draft. Steven explains to Pearl that he does not believe White understands that he's not pink diamond. As we saw from their conversation at the end of Lex Riddle Homeworld, White Diamond was very dismissive towards Steven. She kept referring to him as Pink. Welcome home, Pink. There you are, Starlight. How can she even begin to understand who Steven is if he can't get a word in edgewise? Now I believe this following shot actually explains what happens to the rest of the Crystal Gems. As the narrator questions if Steven and the Crystal Gems can play by homeworld rules, we see Steven with his henna and Connie's direction, Blue Pearl looking a bit shook, and if we look closely, we can see she has the same holographic pad from the trial pulled up, so she'll likely be inscripting the following meeting as it happens, which I find very interesting. Learning more about Blue and Yellow's roles in Homeworld, we also see Yellow Pearl striking the Diamond Insignia pose. But back to Steven and the gang, Blue Diamond invites Steven mid-sentence from the rest of the Crystal Gems. I think Steven may be getting too close to Connie for comfort, to which Blue Diamond immediately separates them once more, afraid that White would be displeased if she sees these unruly gems, and an organic being so close to Pink Diamond. They already made it clear, Pearl is the only one who is allowed to be next to Steven, as we saw in the previous shot in the same room. Yellow Pearl also says everyone stays where they belong, pointing upward. So while Garnet, Amethyst, Connie will see what's going on, they'll likely be placed on some sort of balcony, out of Steven's reach. I don't think there's any bad intent behind this either. Blue and Yellow sees how desperately Steven wants to heal these corrupted gems. And in order for Steven to appease White Diamond, they need to play by the book. So in order for this meeting with White Diamond to go well, everyone has to stay in their assigned seating. Once again, the name of this episode is Together Alone. As in everyone's together, but alone. Secluded from the rest of Homeworld. The diamonds are once again reunited, they're together, but away from the Crystal Gems, who are barely in sight. Now this next shot of Steven looking out of Pink Diamond's palace once again, makes me wonder which episode this is from. I believe this could be from the end of Together Alone. After things go horribly wrong, he's once again back in Pink Diamond's palace, but if you look at his hands, he's no longer wearing Pink Diamond's garments as the gloves are now missing. This could be an animation error, but I think this meeting with White Diamond may backfire. He doesn't make any progress, leading him to mope as he longs for his friends. He needs a way out of here. Last but not least, and these next doodles are huge. We're not sure who drew them. You could assume there are Pink Diamonds initially, but if you look closer, this is actually the origin of Pink Diamond. At first, it's just yellow, white, and blue. As Steven moves panels, we can see two identified gems huddled around a bunch of rocks. As a device, it could be a homeworld injector, but usually those are planted into the dirt. This is directly into what appears to be some sort of cauldron. And we can see not only is the injector pink, but a radiating droplet, which, as Steven slides over to the next one, brings about pink diamond. We are going to see how a diamond is made, although in a crude, illustrated way that Steven has to piece together. But this is so exciting, a lot of people are wondering, are diamonds made like any other gems? Do they eat up an entire planet? We are finally on the brink of an answer, at least for Pink Diamond. Lord knows how all the other diamonds were made. But this does confirm that Pink Diamond was the last diamond made, that yellow and blue already existed. And side note, I love how everyone's smiling in this last illustration besides yellow. That's adorable. Our final shot is Steven looking back at White Diamond's statue, saying, I know I can do this. Just watch. 
Now, unlike the previous shot, which, judging by Steven's hands, appeared to be animated by Rough Draft, this shot is once again Sunman, so I believe this is at the end of Familiar. It's possible that Pearl could supply Pink Diamond's clothing to Steven. Maybe she makes it, or maybe she already had an outfit in her gemstone and then tailors it for Steven. Maybe Steven is able to manifest it, maybe Homer will themselves supply it and gives it to Pearl. Either way, it seems as if Familiar will be Steven just kind of moping around and talking to Pearl about everything, talking about why Diamond, then at the very end he decides, all right, let's do this, let's usher a meeting. Although it's unknown if White Diamond will actually show up in Together Alone. The entire episode could be them waiting. Maybe she'll make a dramatic entrance, or maybe just like in the trial, she doesn't show up at all. And that brings us to the end of our breakdown. Guys, there's so much to be excited for. It's a great time to be a CV Universe fan. And with eight new episodes, because remember, Battle of Heart and Mind is supposed to be an hour long, consisting of four episodes. How could you not be excited? But what do you guys think? What did you think of this trailer? Again, there wasn't much, but what we did get was pretty good. It quenched my thirst for the time being, until those TV promos start rolling out. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts to me at Thoughts or at RoundtableVids. We're also on Instagram. If you want to help the Roundtable grow, you can become a member of this channel or support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop of all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vlots, out.